I'm Luke Williams and today we're going to be changing out the brake lights on a trailer as well as all the wires all the way through it. Now I'm swapping over to a new light that has a reverse light on it which means I have to swap to a five pin connector. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is go ahead and take off all the old lights and the old wires. We have all new components so we don't want to use anything that's already been on here. I highly recommend doing this if you just bought a trailer because you may not know how it's wired or it may not be wired correctly. So just go ahead and strip it clean and start it fresh. It's going to save you a lot of trouble in the future should you ever have problems with your trailer wiring. So once you have everything stripped off, we're going to start wiring it from the tongue of our trailer. You want to make sure you have enough room for the connector to reach to the plug on your vehicle. Once you have that spaced out, we're going to go ahead and start running your lines down the trailer. If you have holes already cut into your frame underneath your trailer, then you're going to run your wire straight down those. If not, you're going to use clips. On my trailer, I only have holes cut on one side, so I'm going to run all my wires down one side and then cross it at the back of my trailer for my driver's side lights. If you have holes on both sides, then you're going to run your driver's side light, which is your yellow and your brown wires, down your driver's side, and you'll run your passenger side lights, which are going to be your green and your brown wires on the passenger side. With these lights having reverse lights, our fifth wire is blue, which is our reverse light. So we're going to run that down one side, we'll connect it, and then go ahead and split it over to our other light so that both of our reverse lights come on at the same time. When you're running these underneath the trailer, you want to make sure you use zip ties or electrical tape or clips to hold them tight. You don't want any of your wires hanging loose at any point. That's just a recipe for disaster. If you're coming through a field or anything else, you don't want to snag one of those and rip it off. You'll have two bolts that hold on your lights. You put those on first and then your light is going to have some little grooves that slide right over it. What I like to do is go ahead and put both of the bolts on and then after you get your light on, you're going to have to unscrew one of your bolts and you should have a little white wire that comes off of your light and that wire is going to connect underneath your washers on one of your bolts. As far as connecting your lines to each other, you want to connect the same color to the same color. Now most kits coming down are going to have a yellow and then a yellow with a brown stripe, so don't let that confuse you. Your yellow with your brown stripe will connect to the brown, and then your yellow will connect to the yellow. Same thing for green. Your green will connect to green, and green with the brown stripe will connect to brown. You can fasten these together any way you like. I like using wire nuts and then put some electrical tape around that. And then once I have everything connected, I want to use electrical tape all the way around as far as I can to protect those wires. You'll do the same thing on both sides and then we're going to go back to the tongue and check and make sure you still have enough room and tighten everything up. If you don't have a good way to hold your wires to your frame, you can use zip ties and then you can actually use a second zip tie to connect the wires to that zip tie if you do have an L-shaped bracket. The last thing we have to do is take the white wire that's coming off the connector and ground it to our frame. Now you may need to add a little bit of extra wire to this to make sure you have enough length. Now we just plug it in and test it out. Alright guys, I want to know, do you have any other tips for changing out your brake lights or your brake light wires? If so, let us know in the comments below and then make sure you head to Radio Red's YouTube channel and hit subscribe. I'm Luke Williams.